An entrance should be a surprise. An audience normally knows the situation, so you want to do something unpredictable. I think there's two types of acting. You're either putting on the makeup, and that's a character. And that character is gonna be probably walking different than you, he may be speaking different than you. Or you're taking the tissue and you're wiping your face clean. You're wiping right down to the bones. You know, you're, you're taking all of the makeup off and try to find the truth. Somebody very early on said to me, you know, the camera can tell when you're lying. The camera can tell when I'm lying. I went, oh. So my early acting was very painful because it was all about, I gotta tell the truth. I gotta tell the truth. I know it sounds silly, but then one day it finally came to me, wait a minute, people lie every day. I look somebody in the eye and I lie. There's no big bolt from the heavens that come down to kill me. Acting is lying and people lie a lot. What you can say about a person when he walks into the room, you should know whether he's walking in with confidence or whether he's walking in with timidity should know whether he's fearful, whether he's humorous. But when you get that opportunity to enter, there's choices to be made. All the scenes in the movie that take place in this room, no matter if they're in the beginning of the movie or the end of the movie, will be shot on that same day. So you have to learn a lot about technique. You cannot rely upon the fact that emotionally you're gonna be able to be there every time. It's difficult to know when you nailed it. You learn to trust your first instincts. In my particular case, I usually do a lot of homework. I know the rhythm of the whole piece. I know what's required of me. So I usually get it, the first, second, third take. But particularly for comedy, because in the theater, you have an audience reaction. They laugh. But on film, you go da 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 da. And you say, oh, I hope they're going to be laughing. I really hope they're going to be laughing. But you don't know until the whole movie's put together whether you succeeded or not. I realize that my career is almost entirely contemporary. I have only one historical role, so I'm dealing with the contemporary psyche, but I don't want to have the best part. I want to be in the best picture because the only thing that matters, no matter how good your performance is, is if the movie works, if the whole piece works. You always think you have to do something. I wish I could be one of those actors who can do nothing. If you really think of your favorite screen actors, they bring the camera in rather than them projecting out to the camera. And my father, you know, has always advised me, he said, the most difficult thing to do is nothing.